Hello everyone, it's been a bit of a while. Um, this is just a little demonstration of how to use an LT3080 to go down to zero volt output. Basically what I've got here is an LT3080, which is an SMT one. The uh, <laughs> main reason why I haven't been done, done this for a while is that I haven't had time to first make the adapter board I needed because I've got a tube of surface mount ones for had them for a while and was planning on doing stuff with them but just couldn't find the time and so anyway today I did. So anyway, LT3080, um, the voltage set um, resistor, don't mind the baby in the background, um, noise cap to stop the uh, the set pin picking out rubbish. I don't have a 2.2 uh, microfarad uh, output ceramic so I've just used two 1.1s. Um, an LM334 constant current supply, as uh, constant current uh, uh, yeah, constant current source and a uh, set resistor for it so it's running at about 1 milliamp at the moment, so constant current but the thing that's special about this is I've got a negative supply which is taking the 5 volts which I'm currently feeding the whole thing with and generating about 12 volts at the moment uh, it will a actually supply up to 100 milliamps um, so anyway, so minus 12 volts and the LM334 is between the negative rail and the output of the LM uh, LT30 so what that means is that there's a constant 1 milliamp um, current on the LT3080 which will allow it to go all the way down to 0 volts because in the um, data sheet of the LT3080 it says to get true 0, zero volt performance from the LT3080 the, um, a 1 milliamp current needs to be on the output pin all the way down and the way they suggest you do that is to have a negative supply so basically I've got a negative supply over here um, the constant current which allows the LT3080 to go all the way down to zero volts which at the moment the the V set um, trim pot here is actually making it put out one millivolt one millivolt that's as low as I can go at the moment because I think this pot's got a little bit of a problem but um, that's one millivolt so if I wind it up a little bit I can make it I can make it uh, say ten millivolts It actually takes about half a turn. There we go. One, 10 millivolts. All right, so I should be able to go, say, 50 millivolts. There we go. Ooh, almost. Let's say 50. Come on, baby. There we go. Um, it actually is deceptive. You think it takes a micro bit of turn, and it really doesn't. It's quite stable. As you can see, I'm, I'm rocking the pot back and forwards. It actually takes almost. 15 to 20 percent of the turn of the pot to make it even go up a couple of millivolts but once it actually starts moving it moves quite quickly and then stabilizes so trying to hit a target um, is a little tricky so let's say 70 millivolts let's go up to 100 whoops went past 100 millivolts so with a digital control um, say PWM output or a um, DAC um, you should be able to make it quite accurate. So there's 100 millivolts. Let's take it up to 500 millivolts. 0.5 volts. And it takes quite a number of turns of this pot. You can no doubt say, oh, I've got a shot. Oh, let's go 600 already there. So there you go. There's a drop, dire drop voltage. Yeah. So yeah, so um, basically that makes the uh, LT3080 quite useful. Um, it's a little bit of fiddling around with the negative supply but what um, the upshot is is that I should be able to use the negative supply rail because it actually will do 100 milliamps easily. Um, we wouldn't need anywhere near that much current for what we're doing here uh, given that the constant current is only 1 milliamp and um, my idea is to use the negative rail as the uh, negative rail for the op amps that will drive the constant current, sorry the um, current limit and the, uh, the voltage output <laughs> disregard the baby in the background. Um, so which means that hopefully the um, the op amps will have better performance and uh, allow it to go to zero volts. Um, but anyway, I better go check on the baby. I'll keep this one short. But uh, actually, before I go, I'll wind this back down to zero. Well, one millivolt is as low as it'll go. That's up. Let's go down. Da -da 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 -da. Yes, Shelley wants some food, I think. Mum's out at the moment, so I better go sort her out. But uh, let's just go to that. Oop, screwdriver dropped off. 100. Oh, damn, did it again. Back on there. There we go. 10. 
one millivolt. As good as zero volts as you could ask for, really. Um, so yeah, I'll keep it short and a bit of go. And uh, yeah, thanks very much, guys.